how do you assemble a four inch side glass and a one and a half inch glass column? Let's go find out. Hey everyone, Distiller Krelling here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. Today I want to show you how I assemble my four inch side glass and one and a half inch glass column. Both the four inch and one and a half inch glass sections I use in my 13 liter still. Go check out this video card of my 13 liter still and how I use it. First up is the four inch. The 4 inch I must say is very versatile, I also use it with the 100 litre still. I use it either with the perforated plate for ginning or the 4 inch bubble tray if I want to do something else. If you guys want to know more about bubble trays, go check out this video card where I explained all about bubble trays and also perforated plates. It doesn't matter which one you use but make sure when you do insert it into your seal it is inside and it's not sticking out somewhere where it can cause a pinch point or it can maybe squeeze and damage the seal itself so make sure it is inside the seat if I may call it it is freely the seal itself can freely move around as you can see I've already pre-assembled some of the side gloss itself we take our already assembled perforated plate and seal and we place it at the bottom. When you do place it at the bottom, also make sure that it is nice and flush. You don't want it to be sticking out over. That will definitely cause a pinch point and even vapor liquid to leak through. So make sure that it is nice and flush. Now comes the glass section. I do make sure that it sits on properly. I feel inside to make sure it doesn't pinch the rubber itself or the seal. Then I've got my second seal that I will put on top. I will also make sure that it's nice and flush. It's not uneven anywhere. It's not overlapping or lipping that might cause a irregular seal. So make sure it's nice and flush. Then for this next section, I tend to get one in and then go to a second one. Because you will see that you can quite sometimes struggle with it. And that's why I said it helps having these long studs loose that you are easily to manipulate it and it's not too rigid. Right, I make sure that it is lined up horizontally and it's not skew like, like that you can see. I make sure it's nice and straight. I would fasten the studs until I can feel it's tight with my fingers but not too tight. Once I've done fastening all the bolts with my fingers I can just feel it again and make sure that everything is nice and tight with my hands then I will start to use my spanners I use two 13 millimeter spanners because that's the size of the bolts and what I would like to do is I would take one at a time and just give it two turns then I would go to the opposite end and fasten that one two turns and then I would choose one of the sides, make it two turns, and then go to the opposite side and give it two turns. I want to make sure that when I do pull it up, I pull it up evenly, that it's not causing a imbalance that might cause vapor to leak through or anything. Also, before I tighten it very tightly, I would feel it again and make sure that there is no pinching of the seal itself and even the bottom. I can feel definitely it's nice and flush. From there on, I am quite happy, and then I will just go on and tighten it nicely, still making sure that I do swap it around and tighten each opposite bolt. With the side glass now fastened, I just turn these nuts that they're all the way up and all the way down. I don't really lock them, I've read that some guys do lock them. I'm not too worried about it. I know that my main two bolts are definitely fastened. So I will just tighten these with the hands and make sure they're right. So that's it for the four inch side glass. Now coming to the one and a half inch column. Obviously you guys can see there's a lot more parts with this one. Let me quickly talk to you guys about what is here. It's divided into four sections. You've got 
four small glass sections and also four bubble trays as well. Each bubble tray has got a perforated plate. If you guys want to know more about this, go check out my video about bubble caps and perforated plates. Now you will notice that four of them has got these sharp thingies sticking out. They are just to direct the water. As it overflows from the downcomer, this will tend to direct it to flow the other direction. Remember, you only've got one straight line going through. And if this wasn't there, and it's like this one on top, the liquid will fall straight into your downcomer and will quite, let's say, defeat the purpose of having a plate in the first place. So having this small section on here will now direct the liquid falling onto the side of the perforated plate to let it accumulate and do its job. First up, we will start with the downcomer that does, does not have the downcomer drain direction thingy. As this is the bottom tray, it doesn't mind that the liquid will fall straight down back into the boiler. So as the same as the 4 inch, I would input it, make sure the downcomer is facing downwards, make sure it's no overlapping and everything is straight. Then comes the glass section. Glass section, I make sure it's actually, it actually feels like it just slips in, then I know it's right. I will feel that it's no overlapping and I know definitely that one is right. When you do come to your third plate, make sure that the downcomer is now facing the other way. As that one is facing this way, you want it to drop down that way. It's the same as I assemble my 100 liter still here at the back. When I do the plates, I make sure my downcomers are facing different size that it doesn't fall all the way straight down. Once you've got all your glass sections in, it comes to your last seal. It's a very flat one. Also make sure when you put it on, it's not overlapping, it's not causing a pinch point, it is nice and straight. So be sure when you do insert it, you still got all the areas covered. Like I said, it does help when it's slightly a bit loose. And also make sure when you do insert it on top, it's not overlapping and everything feels flush. I would just fasten the bolt using my fingers, not pulling it up too tightly as of yet. Once again, as I tighten with my fingers, I tend to check that I do a opposite side every now and again to make sure that I pull it up nice and straight until I can feel with my fingers I cannot turn it anymore. Then I will go also to the 13 millimeter spanners. When I come to the last parts where I tighten it up nicely, I like to put it on the side. It just gives me more control over it then it's standing up straight. There you go guys. This was the assembly of my 4 inch side glass with the perforated plate for gin and also my 1.5 inch column that I use on my 13 liter still. I hope you guys find this video interesting. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and hit the subscribe button if you want more content from me and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss it. If you guys like to ask me anything, feel free to leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you. And remember, as always, be awesome, be kind, and be yourself. Cheers, guys.